Good morning children. Today we are going to start with a new topic from your English text lesson 9 Mullah Nasiruddin feeds his coat. Nasiruddin Hoxha was born in present day Turkey in the 13th century. He was a clever and a witty man. served as a judge and as a wazir in the ruler's court this short play is adapted from a middle eastern islamic folk tale the main characters are storyteller mulla nasiruddin wealthy man mulla nasiruddin had been working in the fields all day long He was tired and sweaty and his clothes and shoes were covered with mud and stains because he had been fasting all day long for Ramadan He was also quite hungry but finally it was almost sundown and Nasiruddin knew that he would soon be able to eat The wealthiest men in town had invited everyone to come break their fast in his home and evening with a huge feast. Nasiruddin knew that he would be late if he went home to change his clothes before heading into town. He decided it was better to arrive in dirty clothes than to be late. Oh, what a party it would be! What a feast as he walked to the wealthy man's home Nasiruddin imagined the delicious food that he would soon be eating dates lentils and chickpeas olives and bread hams falafel chicken and beef and best of all the desserts halwa date rolls fig and baklava when nasiruddin arrived The wealthy man opened the door and looked Nasiruddin up and down scornfully from his worn rag clothes down to his muddy shoes without a word of welcome he gestured for Nasiruddin to come in and walk abruptly away Nasiruddin joined the throngs of people who were all dressed in their finest clothes The tables were laden with all sorts of delicious foods. Despite his efforts to hurry, the seats were all taken and nobody tried to move over or make a space for Nasiruddin. In fact, nobody offered him food. He had to reach over and around people to get any food for his plate. Nobody spoke to him but it was as if he wasn't even there The other guests ignored him so completely that Nasiruddin could not enjoy the food on his plate No matter how finely prepared and how tasty it was in fact after only a few bites Nasiruddin was so uncomfortable that he decided to leave. He hurried home and changed into his finest clothing including a beautiful coat. Nasiruddin returned to the feast and this time the host welcomed him with a huge smile. "Come in, come in," greeted the host. As Nasiruddin entered people waved and called to him from all corners of the room to sit near them Nasiruddin sat down quietly picking up a plum fig he carefully placed it into a coat pocket saying eat coat eat next he took a handful of nuts and put them into the pocket saying eat coat eat Now he began to feed his coat in earnest grabbing all sorts of food. He fed the coat lentils and chickpeas, olives and bread, hummus, falafel, chicken and beef, and best of all the desserts, halwa, 
date rolls, figs, and baklava. Nasiruddin became silent as they watched this strange behavior. Soon everyone in the room was staring at Nasiruddin. The host hurried over. Nasiruddin, what are you doing? Why are you feeding your coat in this strange way? Well, replied Nasiruddin, when I first came to this feast in my own farming clothes, I was not welcome, but when I changed into this coat, suddenly I greeted warmly. So I realized it was not me that was welcome at this party, but my clothing, and so I am feeding my coat. Children, how do you think the host and the other guests? might have been feeling when Nasiruddin told them why he was feeding his coat and was it fair or kind when the people wouldn't talk to Nasiruddin. Children, in this story, Nasiruddin has shown us how people are often judged by their outward appearances and clothes. Thank you.